What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now in today's video we are going to be diving back into the world of pre-sales, a world that we've honestly been crushing it in recently. I mean we have seen so many gainers that have come out of these pre-sales quite recently, especially some of the ones that we've talked about since the beginning of this, this year. And so because of that we're going to continue up the momentum today and we are going to be taking a look at Pepe Unchained. Now Pepe Unchained, the reason that they re even really popped up on my radar as they have is because they are taking the multi-layered price increasing pre-sale approach one that we like so much here on the channel you know the approach of having you know a certain set of days where your pre-sale price is at this and then a couple next days is at this and the next days is at this etc it's worked out quite well and so many of these different crypto companies that have launched with this structure have done extremely well they've raised so much money and then use that money for buybacks they use it for burns and for marketing it's just a crazy crazy good meta right now and honestly i'm a big fan of it a lot of people make a lot of money especially when they get in on the pre-sale early but then also whenever they do end up with the token once they do start in injecting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars back into the token. And so with that, of course, we're going to continue the momentum up today talking about Pepe Unchained. Now, looking at this thing, let's take a look at who they are and what they do, because I actually do like this one a little bit more than some of the ones we've talked about recently. Now, the reason I say that is because some of the ones we've talked about recently are just pure meme coins with absolutely no utility, no ecosystem, no use case. And I'm perfectly fine with that. You don't have to have those things, but I do think having those things will lead you to more gains. And these guys do. So they're going to be creating a layer two that's the main primary focus right now they say pepe on chain will be the future of meme coins a layer two blockchain built for speed security low fees and of course memes now the reason why they want to take this approach is quite simply because whenever pepe first launched it was trapped and they say confined to his chunky layer one server room they say but the story doesn't end there with the stroke of giga brain genius pepe devised a plan to break free from his chains and embrace the future with pepe unchained now the reason why they call this pepe unchained is because this layer two is going to allow it to not only move faster it's not only going to have less congestion which of course leads it to move faster it's going to be cheaper but at the same exact time it will also allow for an increase in the rewards that are given from the meme coins and its ecosystem through staking they say that layer one blockchains like ethereum can suffer from congestion leading to slower transaction speeds and higher fees the layer two solutions address these issues by processing transactions off the main ethereum chain reducing the load and allowing for a faster and cheaper transaction they say some of the main benefits of course are doubling the staking rewards, faster speeds, and lower fees. And so their main focus is to develop a token that is going to be the native token of their layer two that they're releasing. The token being the PEPU or PEPU, I guess, if you want to call it, token. And of course, the Pepe Unchained layer, um, layer two blockchain. Now for PEPU, let's just go with that. They say the token powers the entire ecosystem. You're early enough to witness a new golden age of meme coins with, Pe with Pepe in his rightful place as king and the Pepe Unchained layer two, his kingdom. Now, taking a look at the token itself and the way that it's broken down it is really simple tokenomics 20 percent towards a pre-sale 30 percent towards staking 20 percent towards marketing which i like to see 10 percent towards liquidity 10 percent to um to fund the project through project finance then of course 10 percent towards the chain inventory now this is just going to make again this whole system way easier and i do like this approach because again their main focus where they're going with this is to not only create a layer two but to use this token as the native token of an entire ecosystem you can see in step three of their roadmap they say that pepe on chain is much more than a meme coin it's an entire blockchain ecosystem and taking this approach in which they're using two metas in my mind right or three metas realistically you have the pepe meta you have the multi-layered pre-sale meta and you have just the blockchain ecosystemic meta when you combine those three things together i think that they're going to actually have some success because realistically what are some of the issues that companies face when they're trying to develop like a blockchain or when they're trying to develop utility usually it's money they almost always run out of money and what's happening with these pre-sales right now, these multi-layered pre-sales, they're making a lot of money. And so they're taking one meta that'll help them raise a ton of money and to use that money to re-inject it back into helping develop out the ecosystem, develop out the blockchain, reinvest it back into the token, reward the holders and things of that nature. And that's just a perfect balance in my opinion for a company like this to be able to do well. And that's why I am so high on this thing right now. And so because of that, I am investing into this token here. It wasn't even a question in my brain. I did go ahead and get in here and they are currently, I mean, dude, they're raising money. You can see here, 341,000 of the 400,000 for this round, like smashing through it. And it's crazy how much money these freaking pre sales raise, dude. Because I have worked with projects that can only raise 100,000, 150,000. These types of projects are raising millions of dollars and like 
using that to fund years of development, years of community growth, ecosystemic development. It's crazy. It's crazy. Having been in the space as long as I have, it's crazy how much money these things are these things are raising. And that's exactly what you need to be able to get to that next step. And so this is absolutely one of the tokens I'm adding to mine. Um, just one that I wanted to invest into. You can hear a little bit more about the story and what they're trying to do to develop the character that they're using for the whole Pepe Unchained idea. But it's honestly quite simple. They're trying to unchain Pepe in a sense that they're removing it from that layer one B layer that it's on and bring it to layer two making it faster making it cheaper and bringing the rewards up double and so because of that guys i will be making updates on this one especially as it does get closer to its launch so make sure that you do check out the links in the description below do go check them out i will leave you a link over to the pre-sale if you want to go ahead and use that that would be awesome and i will of course see you all very soon in the next update see you later everybody peace